Hi, I'm Jeff from Sussex Installations, keeping you up to date with the latest in van security. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel to keep up to date with new attacks, new break-ins, and new points of van security that I will discuss as we move on. Please do give us a like for the video, be much appreciated. And I will tell you about today's topic, which is the new shape um, Toyota Pro Ace, Vauxhall Vivaro, Peugeot Expert, Citroen Dispatch, and the Fiat Scudo van. So this sort of shape started around 2016, 2017 with the Toyota Pro Aces. Vauxhall swapped over it to it a bit later, and Fiat swapped over to it as the latest one. So internal shield. For the side load doors, we've had customers come to us with holes in the doors where they've been attacked, where people have broken in through the side load doors. And we have had external repair shields for both the side load door uh, here, which we've got here in matte black, and we usually have them in brushed finish or matte black and the barn door, which we've, same thing, matte black or brushed uh, stainless steel finish. So we've had the external shields, which repair the damage if someone's made a hole in the van already, and they give some extra protection in case someone's just gonna come along, poke a screwdriver through the hole. But now we've got the internal shield. So you can have the internal shields fitted, the exterior of the van doesn't need to look any different to how it looks as standard, or you can have the internal shield and the external shields as well but it's just giving that extra uh, layer of protection to your latch mechanism. There is one point to mention, if you've got the electronic opening doors, what I mean by the electronic opening doors is, if you can press a button on your remote control and your door will actually open itself, then you've got electronic opening doors. If you touch the handle here, pull it a little bit, pull the door like that, the door will take itself and open itself. That's what I mean about the electronic opening doors. Not a door like this one where you have to physically push it in the open position like most of them. Regardless, you've got the electronic opening doors or the standard doors, I would strongly recommend that you do have these internal shields fitted to your van. It just means that if you do have the electronic opening doors, you do need to detach the factory motor and not have your door opening off your remote control, which really is a good thing. Definitely from a security point of view, it's a good thing. We're now just going to fit one of these shields, start to finish, so you get a bit of an idea for how difficult it is to fit. If you're considering to buy it off the website or off of eBay or off of Amazon for you to fit yourself, you can have a look now and see whether it's something you're up to. Not too difficult, in all honesty. So I'm going to show you a little bit about the journey of how I got to this point with developing this shield. It was an absolute nightmare. It was my nemesis, but I got there. Something I've been putting off for a while, I guess, is developing an, an internal shield. So it's something that can go inside the door. It can guard across the factory latch mechanism. So if someone was to poke a hole through the, the thin skin of the bodywork of the van, that there's going to be a shield there, which is going to be considerably stronger to try and stop the fee from popping the central locking open. This has been my nemesis, this one. This, so far, version 29. Would you believe how many attempts I've had at this? Like, I've had a change of plan, I've had small changes, and I've had like a complete sort of different concept change of plan again and again. But I feel like I'm getting somewhere. So, <laughs> look at this, this is ridiculous. Look at this trail of development so far. The record for me, for sure, 29 so far, and I'm still not even there yet. I'm just along the way. 29 different um, design changes, small changes. I've just been going for nearly a week already. I've been going from the CAD software on the computer to the laser, laser off a new one, make a small change, go to the press, bend it, fold it, go to the development door, which I've got here, um, which is our development door, check in, does it fit? How does it fit? How well um, the shield is guarding the latch mechanism that's in here. And then I'm going to our real life vehicle, same sort of model, 
Um, I think this door was from a Toyota Pro Ace, 2017 maybe. This is a 2022 Vauxhall Vivaro. So we're seeing some slight design changes inside the door from one model door from another, one year to another. So it's very tight inside this like um, latest model Vauxhall Vivaro that I have here. Inside the door is very, very tight to fit a shield around that latch. So I'm having a, I'm being tested on this one. I'm having to work really, really hard. It's been keeping me awake in the night. I've been thinking about it. I've been dreaming about it. I've been sleeping. I don't know if I'm awake or uh, asleep, but I've been thinking about it day and night for around about a week now. So I've got to do this. I've got to get it finished. I've got to get it available. So hopefully if you're watching this video now on the YouTube channel, we do have a finished production shield that's available to buy from our website or from eBay or from Amazon. So hopefully that's the case anyway. Um, probably there's um, a note in the comments down below as to where you can find it. Wish me luck. I'm going to be going for version 30 in a minute. And I'm going to try and double layer this thing up to make it as secure as I can get it to be. Stay tuned. So here we go. Versions 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 13, 15, 18, 20, 22, 23. Start to look a bit interesting. Some different ideas at this point getting through 26 yeah that's um something started to change there different went off in a bit of a different direction 27 28 and you know what i feel like with the version number 29 i'm starting to get somewhere now so we're going to get a look from the different angles where a thief might cut a hole in the door just to see is there any vulnerabilities uh, in this shield so far where I've not realised yet because it's so like tight in here. Okay, so make, this makes a big difference seeing it from this point of view. So that's the, that's the latch, that's the shield which I've made. And I can see that actually, that's really pretty good considering the amount of space that I've got in here to work with, which is not a lot spare, but time we put it in that newer shape of Aro, there's barely anything at all. It's, it's literally just enough, just enough room to get it in there. So the fact that I've managed to cover that off so well from like the bottom being covered as well as the front face. This is also part of the front face, just a different angle on it. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased with that. So I think that the shape is basically there. Um, next thing for me to do is to layer it up, make it a bit more secure. So I want to put, add an extra layer of shield over the face of it. I'm pleased with this shape, you know, it's all the work and all the sleepless nights I've had dreaming about this thing. I'm really pleased that it's getting more or less there. Version 29 at the moment. I'm going to make a couple of small changes to it and then I'm going to add an additional layer to it. So I reckon by around version 32, 33, like this is going to be nailed. So we did get there in the end. I think it was like version 35 for the main part of this. And then there was also about five or six versions of this second part which is like a reinforcement layer so I'm double layering it in the most vulnerable places. I hope you found this video interesting please do subscribe to our YouTube channel please do give us a like for the video and get in touch via our website if you're looking for security for your van. Our website is www.sussexinstallations.co.uk. Thanks for watching.